Hi, I'm Graham Hill, founder of a site called Tree Hugger. Um, this should tie in nicely with Lisa's talk. So I want to ask you a question. Think about the last time that you moved. Every time I do, I cringe. The amount of stuff, the amount of clothing that I haven't worn, the amount of stuff that I haven't used, sometimes whole boxes that I haven't even unpacked. It's crazy. Let's talk about the last 50 years. Did you know that housing size has gone up by two and a half times? At the same time, our families have gotten smaller. So on a per person basis, lots more space. You'd think we'd have plenty room for our stuff. But it turns out that in that time, a new industry is born, that of per the personal storage industry. $22 billion, 2 billion square feet. So shopping has somehow become a hobby. What else has happened in the last 50 years? Financially, not so good. We're saving less. We're borrowing more. Lots of credit card debt. You've seen the news. Environmentally, our footprints are way larger. We're raising our forests. We're draining our aquifers. We're toxifying the globe. So lots, of, lots more space, lots more stuff but we're living beyond our means, both financially and environmentally. You'd think, with, at least with all this extra space and extra stuff, that we'd be happier. It turns out we're not. Most importantly, I thought about happiness. And I think you guys can relate to this. Traveling with a couple bags, small hotel room, tent, trailer, the cabin of the plastiki. I clearly didn't need a lot of space nor a lot of stuff to be really happy. So this seemed an equation worth exploring. I decided that what I wanted to do was build something. I wanted to build a replicable model, a prototype, something that could really start the conversation, look at some of the amazing solutions, and ideally really help this movement move forward. I wanted to create a tiny, ultra green, ultra efficient little jewel box of an apartment. It would be good for my wallet, good for my conscience, good for my health, and good for my overall mental clarity. I think it's pretty clear that we get clogged up with a lot of stuff, and so I thought there could be benefit there as well. Simple. So today, I'm really excited to announce a new project. It's called Life Edited. What we're going to do is renovate a tiny apartment in New York, 420 square feet. And because I believe that all of us are smarter than any one of us, we're going to crowdsource the design with a company called Javoto. So it's a big design contest. We have about $75,000 worth in prizes. These are going to go towards solutions and also to feedback. The neat thing about crowdsourcing, and this, this one in particular, is that they encourage people to put their designs in early. And so you can evolve your designs over time until the final deadline, which is January 10th, from feedback from the crowd. The heartening thing in this area, environmentally in particular, is that there are amazing solutions out there. You can start with ruthlessly editing your possessions. But beyond that, there's incredible transforming furniture. There's real space-saving housewares. They're great ways to digitize your life, to take physical stuff and basically make it disappear. And we heard a lot about sharing systems, how to move from ownership to access, get the stuff you need when you need it. You've heard the quote, the future is here, it's just not widely distributed. Well, this is our job. We've got to pull it together. We've got to put this thing together. So I ask you to join us at lifeedited.org we're looking for solutions and ideas, but we're also looking for feedback, comments, opinions to help these, these ideas evolve, and we're looking for people to spread the word. LifeEdited.org, less but better, make room for the good stuff. Thank you. Yeah.